Romidepsin, Wikipedia Audio Romidepsin, also known as Istadax, is an anti-cancer agent used in cutaneous T-cell lymphoma and other peripheral T-cell lymphomas. Romidepsin is a natural product obtained from the bacterium Chromobacterium violaceum, and works by blocking enzymes known as histone deacetylases, thus inducing apoptosis. It is sometimes referred to as dipsopeptide, after the class of molecules to which it belongs. Romidepsin is branded and owned by Gloucester Pharmaceuticals, now a part of Celgene. Romidepsin was first reported in the scientific literature in 1994, by a team of researchers from Fujisa a pharmaceutical company in Tsukuba, Japan, who isolated it in a culture of Chromobacterium violaceum from a soil sample obtained in Yamagata Prefecture. It was found to have little to no antibacterial activity but was potently cytotoxic against several human cancer cell lines, with no effect on normal cells, studies on mice later found it to have anti-tumor activity in vivo as well. The first total synthesis of Romidepsin was accomplished by Harvard researchers and published in 1996. Its mechanism of action was elucidated in 1998 when researchers from Fujisawa and the University of Tokyo found it to be a histone deacetylase inhibitor with effects similar to those of tricostatin A. History Phase I studies of Romidepsin, initially codenamed FK228 and FR901228, began in 1997. Phase II and Phase III trials were conducted for a variety of indications. The most significant results were found in the treatment of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma and other peripheral T-cell lymphomas. In 2004, Romidepsin received fast-track designation from the FDA for the treatment of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma an orphan drug status from the FDA and the European Medicines Agency for the same indication. The FDA approved Romidepsin for CTCL in November 2009 and approved Romidepsin for other peripheral T-cell lymphomas in June 2011. In 2014, PLOS Pathogens published a study involving Romidepsin in a trial designed to reactivate latent HIV virus in order to deplete the HIV reservoir. Latently infected T cells were exposed in vitro and ex vivo to Romidepsin, leading to an increase in detectable levels of cell associated HIV RNA. The trial also compared the effect of Romidepsin to another histone deacetylase inhibitor, Vorinostat. In 2018, Nature Neuroscience published a study involving Romidepsin in an animal study that showed that a brief treatment low amounts of Romidepsin could reverse the behavioral symptoms of autism spectrum disorder in mouse models. Romidepsin acts as a prodrug with the disulfide bond undergoing reduction within the cell to release a zinc binding thiol. The thiol binds to a zinc atom in the binding pocket of Z independent histone deacetylase to block its activity. Thus, it is an HDAC inhibitor. Many HDAC inhibitors are potential treatments for cancer through the ability to epigenetically restore normal expression of tumor suppressor genes, which may result in cell cycle arrest, differentiation, and apoptosis. The use of Romidepsin is uniformly associated with adverse effects. In clinical trials, the most common were nausea and vomiting, fatigue, infection, loss of appetite, and blood disorders. It has also been associated with infections, and with metabolic disturbances, skin reactions, altered taste perception, and changes in cardiac electrical conduction. Clinical Trials 
Preclinical HIV Study Autism Study in Animal Model Mechanism of Action Adverse Effects <laughs>